Hey guys, in this video I'll be showing you how to fix your LG washer dryer washing machine that is having drying issues. Like it's not drying clothes properly, they come out moist or it stops before it's actually got the clothes dry. So the first thing I'd say is you want to monitor how much you're putting in to dry. As you can see, you can only put in half a load to dry. So about halfway out the door, that's the maximum amount of washing you can put in there to dry. But other than that, you also need to check the condenser that is at the back of your washing machine. I'll show you guys how we go about cleaning it because over time some lint will collect in there. So you'll find that maybe when it was brand new, it was cleaning properly. But now that it's gone for a few years, a few months, it doesn't dry as well as it does as it used to. So the first thing that we're going to look at is the condensing unit, which is at the back of the washing machine. So in order to access that, you're going to need to get a Phillips head screwdriver and remove the two screws that will be at the back of your washing machine. So I'll show you these in a second. I'll just turn this around and show you what I mean. So if you turn your washing machine around, you'll have a look at the back. So at the back here, there's two screws. So we're going to have a look at two screws. That screw and on the other side, there is that screw. So we need to take those two screws out so that we can access the heating unit, the condensing unit of your washing machine. So what you want to do is grab your screwdriver and take out those two screws, take them out. Beautiful. So to take off the cover, you need to pull the lid back. So just pull it back just like that and lift it up. That's it. Just be gentle with it, taking care not to break anything and put the cover on the side. Now, when you open your washing machine, you're going to see that there's a lot in there. So the particular bit we're looking at is this bit here. That's the bit that's responsible for the drying. So that's the heating element just over there. And then this over here is your fan that just distributes all the, the heat. And just below that, this white thing here, that's your condensing unit. So if I take out all these screws just around here, that will reveal the state of our condensing unit. Because then we'll know if there's any lint blocking the movement of air or blocking any sensors because there's sensors in this thing that sense how dry the level of moisture that's in there. So when you've got lint in there, it confuses the machine to think that things are dry when they're not. Okay, so grab your screwdriver and let's take off some screws. Hey guys, so for this next part, you're gonna need to be outside. I've taken us outside because we're gonna use some water. So if you've got some a, a, a hose that you can use around the house you might want to take your washing machine outside because it's going to get a bit messy with some water because we just want to wash out all that lint but before we do that we want to open the filter so that any lint or anything that we're cleaning out comes out of the washing machine and doesn't get stuck in there and block our pump so your filter is on the right hand corner at the bottom so if you see that flap um, I'll be opening in, in a minute. I'll show you guys how to open yours. So it's pretty simple. So you basically just use like a, like a screwdriver. You don't even need a screwdriver as well. You can just use your finger and you just open it like that. So you'll notice that there's this black cap there. You need to unscrew that anti-clockwise and it will come out. There'll be water, so I'm outside, so it doesn't matter. If you're inside the house, put a towel underneath because water is definitely going to come out. You want to make sure there's no water messing up your floors. So, 
now that we've opened that just check in there to see if there's anything blocking your washing machine pump if there's nothing blocking it just keep it open like that because we're gonna get some water going in a minute all right guys so we've got our washing machine out outside now we're gonna need to take our screwdriver and undo the screws so there'll be one there make sure you undo the any electric harness cables that are there just undo them remember where you put all your screws because if you lose them you're gonna have to look for new ones these things need everything to be intact so by my account there's one two three four five six seven so there's about seven screws you need to remove so i put them in my pocket i won't lose them that way now you're gonna need to lift this if you want to take it off just like that it just comes off now i'm not sure if you can see properly into here but you can see all this stuff just down here that's lint so i'll show you in a minute yeah that's lint that can cause some issues for your dryer so that's what we want to clear make sure that it's all nice and clear in there so that it can dry properly now just note that some of this paint that they put in there by now would have started peeling off because of the heat i don't think they did their proper research into what paints to use to color these things but we'll make use don't get worried about any of these falling out or getting stuck because our hot water or our hose is gonna spray most of this out now you notice that on here just on that corner there there's a sensor here if you see there's a cable going in there that's one of the sensors that does heating that does the sensoring for the heating and the other one's at the front I wouldn't be too worried about the one at the front because it's uh, far away from all this lint but wouldn't hurt to check it as well so I've checked that that looks good next thing you want to do is you want to look down this thing just to make sure that there's no lint in there anyway we're gonna spray water down it make sure that when you're spraying the water down it you're not spraying all these electrical things with water otherwise you go to turn it on and then kaboom so next stage we're gonna get some water going down there and give it a good clean so let's see how we go i might move mine over a little bit because i don't have that much length in terms of my hot water high pressure hose you don't have need to use hot water cold water is just fine it's just that pressure that you need so we'll just move over here so you guys can see a, li a bit better Ooh. right sure you can see that all right let the cleaning begin stay there so you don't get wet mister all right here we go see how we go with this take one put it in there and then turn it on you can see it's, in, it's under pretty much a lot of high pressure you want to be making sure you're not making anything wet that's not supposed to be wet and we'll be spraying this as far down as you can so that any lint that's caught in there is gonna just go away because we don't want lint in this thing zero Ooh, a bit pretty there So the longer the hose you have the better because you can actually stick it down there and 
make for a much better clean than mine is currently doing. Get rid of all that lint. And that water is just coming up through the front where you open that filter. And any lint is just going to come out, which is going to help us. And I think for me, that should be it. You want to do this for about five minutes or so, just so you get it nice and proper. But for me, it's not that bad. So I'm going to go ahead and close this baby up because there's not much really on this one. So closing it up, just make sure that it seals properly. There's nothing stuck here, no lint stuck here because this is a seal. And you want it to seal properly so that it heats properly and dries properly. So I hope that's been helpful. If you're having any issues with your dryer, not drying properly, this is where you need to clean. That's how you maintain and clean a washer-dryer combo. This needs to be done maybe every three, two years, just depending on what you regularly wash and how often you wash. If you see you're having problems, just check in there, clean it up, see how you go. While we're at that, uh, I'll be continuing this video or I'll post another video on how you can change the pump on your LG washer dryer washing machine. It's pretty simple. I'll post the link below or somewhere in the caption in this video, there's a link to how you can change the pump on your washer dryer combo because your pump is working a lot during the dry cycle because the washing machine is actually pumping water into the washing machine so that it can cool this drum. If it doesn't cool this drum, it's gonna crack or it's gonna melt. So that's why the pump of washer dryers, they usually fail because they're overworking they work through the wash cycle the work even more during the dry cycle so you can imagine that happening over a year or two years they tend to break down so no fault of their own it's just how it is so i hope this has been helpful and if you have any questions if you're not sure about your model comment down below and i'll be more than happy to help you as always Thanks for watching. Until next time, cheers.